easel. You can almost think of your landing page like a runway. When this plane or these passengers land, how are you going to greet them? What is the flow that they're going to go through to get them to take some action? The use cases for a landing page are like maybe a pre-sale for a new product. Maybe you want to segment between customers and greet different potential personas differently. Or maybe you want to run an ad campaign and greet those incoming users in a special way. So here's the structure for a great landing page. First, your headline needs to describe the offer that you're making really clearly. Make it simple so that people know whether or not they're in the right place. And then you want to have some sort of action zone. This could be a button or a short form, and that's the main focus of your landing page where you're getting people to take action. You want this action zone to be high on the page or sort of before the fold in terms of front-end web design. And then you oftentimes want to draw extra attention to that action point. For example, research shows that a female looking to the action point really helps people focus in on where you want them to look on your landing page. Now below this action zone, you want to highlight the user benefits to them taking this action. Make it short and sweet, and you might even try to make a sort of visual illustration of the benefit that people are going to get for those that maybe aren't those detail-oriented people, but those who are more intuitive and get a sense of the benefits rather than reading the bullet points that you've outlined. And then finally, after people take that action, it's a good idea for your landing page to take them to a thank you page. And on this thank you page, you want them to know what they would need to do in order to move down your funnel further. And oftentimes on this thank you page, you want to make a share link so that they can sort of help you spread the word and bring other people that they know into your landing page. And there's also a key hack about having this thank you page, and that's that in your Google Analytics platform or other web analytics platform, the number of times that page is viewed is basically the number of conversions that you have, which makes it easy to calculate stats. So in summary, use the landing page to optimize your conversions once people are at the very top of your funnel and coming into your ecosystem. Now you want to draw attention to the action zone and make the offer that you're asking these people to accept pretty easy to understand. Use a thank you page to allow people to continue down the funnel if they're ready to move on in your ecosystem.